Lawmakers are expecting to hear several proposals regarding visitor fees during the upcoming legislative session. Governor-elect Josh Green ran on a campaign that includes exploring a $50 fee per visitor to fund affordable housing and environmental projects. But some are now saying there could be other, better options to consider. Max Rodriguez reports. Endless sun, warm sand, and blue waves. Just some of the reasons why millions save up to visit Hawaii each year. It's been amazing. It's been wonderful. It has. It's just, it's so beautiful here. It's just, everybody's so nice and welcoming. But that dream Hawaii vacation could come with an added charge. Governor-elect Josh Green exploring a $50 fee per visitor. The funds would go towards addressing climate change and impacts to natural resources, as well as affordable housing projects. Some visitors agreeing with the idea. I think it definitely sounds fair. There's a large amount of tourists that contribute to the pollution and everything else that they leave on the island. So I think it's a good idea. While some say this visitor's fee wouldn't really make a difference given how much they already spend coming here, others say this fee could be an added obstacle. To me, it sounds like one more roadblock to figure out when you get here. Uh, as somebody that comes, <clears throat> oh, pardon me, comes over and spends a lot of money anyway, I mean, it's not a lot of money, but it's just one more thing you think about. Some are advising against a flat fee only for visitors. In the past, proposed green fees have not passed the legislature. Legality of only charging one group of people but not others in question. Representative Richard Onishi says he's seen visitor fee proposals fail during his last six years serving as Labor and Tourism Committee chair. He says a charge for specific sites, such as a $25 entry fee at Hanama Bay, could be a better approach. I think that's something that we could do more of and have a statewide application in which people can make reservations to attend, you know, or participate at these natural resource areas. Meanwhile, Governor-elect Josh Green in a statement says, our team believes we need to address the impact of climate change with dedicated impact-based resources. A green fee on travelers makes sense, and we are optimistic there will be avenues to collect these fees to protect Hawaii's environment. Everything is on the table. We want to approach this with a can-do, not a can't-do attitude. Max Rodriguez, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.